guys, welcome to part two of my estate sale haul from over this past weekend. These are all items I picked up at two different estate sales here in the Dallas area. I'm so excited to share them all with you. Some of them are absolutely adorable like those ducks. Um, as usual, thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm sorry there's not a shop along. This is just a haul. It was way too crowded for me to try to film in the estate sales. It was the last day. It was like a hundred degree heat and <laughs> it was just impossible for me to film. Okay, so the first thing I have to show you is this beautiful amber glass. It's hobnail and I believe this might be Indiana glass. I have not researched it yet and it's not marked. I don't think it was marked. Um, it does have older candles in it right now and it actually only has four when there should be five. Um, you can see here, whoops, uh, there is a slot for a fifth candle. Um, I, I don't know what happened to the other candle. That's okay. I probably will go ahead and replace these candles and put newer ones in here. I'm curious though, what do you guys think about this color, this kind of beigey color with the amber? I kind of, I kind of dig it. Um, I do have some white candles uh, that are this size, but I don't have any colored ones. So I don't know, let me know what you guys think. What color do you think would look good with this beautiful amber glass candle holder? And this one is a little bit broken, so I was trying to fix it, but that's okay. These candles are likely very old and they probably started melting in all the heat. Okay, the next thing I got was this. This is a really cool Francoma mug or vase, whatever you wanna use it for. Um, it's definitely like a coffee mug though, but this is from 1982, as you can see, and this is one of their political mugs. They did make, um, the GOP mug as well. As you can see, it does say dim here. There is a little bit of damage on this piece, but that's okay. I figured if no one wanted it, I would keep it for myself. Well, because it's a donkey and well, that's all I'll say. Um, it is marked here, Francoma. But I just love it. I think it's really, really cute. I like the glaze. I love the donkey. Just, oh, I had to get it. Too cute. Okay, so I picked up several Pulp Fiction novels when I was at one estate sale. And these are not all of them. Um, I got almost a bag full of books, I believe. Uh, one of them was a present for Gina Vintage Digs. Please follow her if you don't follow her already. We do sales together on... Tuesdays at 7 Eastern and at 10.30 p.m. around 10.30 Eastern. Okay, so these books vary in age from the early 50s to the late 60s. I'm not going to go over them too much, but I have to show you all the covers. Look at that. This is a Perry Mason novel. Moth Eater Mink. I just love that. I love the illustrations on each of these. You Can't Escape. A broken engagement that meant the end of romance, but the beginning of love. I love these books so much. Um, <laughs> I get them whenever I see them. Even though some of them may not have any value, that's okay. I actually like reading them myself. Um, Katie does a reading every Monday, Vintage and Vinyl, and I, have, I haven't made it to the past few weeks, so I need to catch up on her reading. Um, these, are, these would all be great for her. Um, this one is Fair Oaks. A historical novel of a southern family. Oh gosh, well, we won't even comment on that. Okay, then we have this book. The, uh, these are from the 50s. I'm sorry, guys. These three are from the 50s, and these are from the 60s. Again, I'm not going to go into too much detail. I had to get this one The Sex Diary of Gerard Sorm or Sorme. Um, I'll just show you the back. I'm not going to read it. Look, he's written 32 books. Oh, I'm sorry. Nine books at the age of 32. Um, I just, these are the ones that I thought were just the best to get. Um, there were, there were a lot at this estate sale, to be honest with you. Um, this one looked really interesting. Of course, interesting. I love that graphic right there. This is the biggest one or the longest one. I'm not sure if these are things anyone in our community is interested in, but do let me know if you are, because, uh, you know, if you email me at calypsoantiques at gmail.com, 
you can send me a DM on Instagram, Calypso underscore antiques. Um, I will, you know, work with you if you reach out to me if you're interested in any of these books or anything that I show in this video. Okay, so I got this really cute little Tonala penguin. Um, he does have a little bit of a scratch on his beak. Now, let's see if I can get him to focus. Please focus, little guy. You're absolute. There we go. Look how cute he is. I just love him. There we go. Um, like I said, his beak is a little scuffed, but other than that, he's in really good shape. He's just so cute. I love this guy. Okay, I also picked up this, and this is a a chalkware dog. Now, I think this looks like a basset. What do y'all think? Tammy and Linda, if you're watching, let me know if this is a basset. I may have to send you a picture, but is that not the cutest? Um, it does still have a hook. Um, it is a wall hanging. I just love it. I love that nose and that face. Too cute. Okay, now this I picked up. I don't believe this is um, vintage, but I'm not sure. It, it's a trinket box, and it's two dolphins. Um, I can't get it all up one-handed. Maybe I can. There we go. Um, it's in really good shape. It's not marked anywhere. So I don't know the exact age of it, but I thought it was cute, and I went ahead and picked it up anyway because it was so cute. I also got this really pretty Mother of Pearl or Abalone Shell thimble. Um, I don't normally pick up thimbles, but I did get this one because I thought it was so pretty. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. Is this something you'd like to see more of? Honestly, I'm not sure if any of you sew, but if you do and you like to collect thimbles, um, let me know. Okay, I did pick up three bells at one estate sale, and the first one is this poodle. Um, I do not believe this one was marked. It is not marked, but it is so cute. Look at that face. It probably could use a little bit of cleaning. Oh my gosh, I just remembered it. It has a basket of flowers in its mouth. Look, this poodle is just so happy, and it's springtime, and he's got some flowers. I'm going to call it a he because it's blue bow, but who knows? Okay, clown alert. I'm sorry, guys. I did go ahead and get this clown. Um, it's kind of cute. Um, if you watch my videos, you know I'm not a big fan of clowns, but I thought this one was kind of cute. And, well, I got some other bells, so I couldn't leave it behind. The next bell that I picked up is this cute unicorn bell. It does have a butterfly. Look at this unicorn's face. He's so cute. I love this one. Um, I believe this is a Nesco. Yeah, this one is a Nesco. I haven't run comps or anything. I just picked it up because it's freaking adorable. I mean, look at it. Okay, the next thing I got was this console dish, and I believe this is like a, a pea pod or some sort of pod. I have not researched it yet. It does have a faint marking here. I'm going to have to get my loop out and try to figure out what that is. It's something ceramics, but I'm sure there were probably two other dishes that went with this. I need to do research and find out. I went ahead and got it because I thought it was really cool. Okay, I also picked up this squirrel. Now, I do believe this is an older piece based on the bottom here. It is cold painted, so it is missing some paint here on the eyes. But I do believe this is an older piece, y'all. It's really heavy, for one thing. If you know anything about this squirrel, let me know. I think it's absolutely adorable. It's like a winter squirrel, squirrel or a Canadian squirrel. Um, so cute. And it's in really good shape. There is no damage to this guy at all. And he's a bigger piece. And like I said, he's kind of heavy. I couldn't leave him behind. I mean, look at him. He's so cute, even if part of his face. It's really his eyes up here where it's kind of rubbed off. Okay. <sighs> Nate. Oh, Nate. This is Wedgwood, guys. And this is Wedgwood Restaurant Wear. Um, I have not had time to comp this out either. But it's awesome. Um... I was really surprised to find this. It's absolutely gorgeous. It does still have salt and pepper in it. Um, so it was definitely used. I need to empty that out. I just haven't had time. Here is the bottom Wedgwood Hotel Wear. It's in great shape. I love how these slide together. I think it's really cool. I was really excited to find that. 
that could be worth quite a bit. I just haven't had time to look, as I said. Okay, I got these two pieces. These are Home Co. And look at these ladies. They are so pretty. I love this Victorian woman with her dog down there. How cute is that? A little Pomeranian, I think. Could be a long-haired Chihuahua. I'm not sure. But I love her. She is so cool. I love her binoculars. Here's a close-up of the pupper. Uh, she has a book. I just think she's awesome. Um, yeah, here's the home comb marking here. She's in great shape. I did not see any damage on her at all. There may be some dust, so I apologize. Yeah, there's some dirt right there. Um, there's also a Southern Belle that I picked up. These were together on a shelf at one of the estate sales, so I believe they're probably around the same age. Here's the home comb mark. Uh, she, you know, she's more of a Southern Belle. She's really pretty, too. There's no damage on her, either. I mean, she's lovely. I just, I really like this piece. I think she's beautiful. And I love the dog. So cute. Okay, the next thing I got was this. And this does not have a copyright date, but I do believe it's likely from the 60s. What do y'all think? Um, and this book has... Um, Oh, that baby was cute. It has directions on, on knitting. And the whole concept behind this book is the mother and daughter knitting together from ages 8 to 80. I thought that was really cool. So I went ahead and picked this up. Um, it's in pretty good shape. A couple of the pages are loose. That picture cracks me up. Um, I just love it. Anyway, had to get that. I do know some of you do knit. I just don't know if you sew. So, let me know if you do. Okay, now this I did get for myself. At one of the estate sales, I found a book that one of my professors from college had written. And it's one of his books that I don't have. So, I was really excited when I found this. This is copyright 1960. Um, and I'm not going to go into too much detail. But here is the copyright information and this book, there's no, there's no pictures. This is a book about, uh, well, essays in antiquity. It's about Greek and Roman civilizations. But I was so happy that I found this at an estate sale, guys. I did get a little emotional when I found it. You know, good memories, not, nothing bad. Okay. Oh, I forgot to say, underneath um, some of these items, and I'll show you individually, are some embroidery. Um, the woman that lived in this household was very, obviously, she was very into knitting and crochet and embroidery. So, I did pick up a few of her pieces. And this is one of them. Um, this is just really cute. I, I love it. I love the size of it. I like the color of the crochet here. I just thought it was really pretty. Um, this one is beautiful as well. Now, I don't know if she made this one. To me, it does not feel handmade, but it's really pretty, and I grabbed it nonetheless. The last one that I'm showing in this video is this really pretty flower. Um, it's more like a dresser scarf or a table runner, but isn't that cute? Look at the, the trim. I love it. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show in this video are these two ducks. Okay, look at them. Just take them in for a moment. I mean, they are so cute. I love them both. Um, these are cold painted as well, so there is some paint loss. They are marked Made in Japan here on the bottom. Um, it says Phil here. Um, <laughs> I don't know if Phil owned them or if they named him Phil, but how cute is he? I do believe um, these two shakers are pre-World War II based on that Japan marking here. Um, I think they're adorable. I mean, look at him in his bow tie. And she, I think she's my favorite. I don't know, I go back and forth. Look at her. She's absolutely adorable too. Like I said, there is some paint loss. And she's not named like Phil was, but she does. They both have their original stoppers and she does have that made in Japan marking as well. She's so, I think she's happy. Don't y'all think she's happy? Um, they're so cute. I apologize. They are a little bit dirty. I just haven't had time to, to clean everything. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for watching this haul. And if I can, I will post part three tonight. 
If not, it'll definitely happen sometime tomorrow. As usual, please share if you enjoy my content. Always like and leave a comment if you have a chance. It really, really does help. And if for some reason you happen upon my channel and you don't subscribe, if you like vintage items, you may want to go ahead and subscribe. Okay, guys, I hope everyone had a great weekend, and thanks to all of you for your support. I'll see you guys later. I'm going to end on the ducks. <laughs> Bye.